Well, we told you last night about what could be a growing homeless population in Oklahoma City. Our crews hit the streets getting an up-close look at what it's like to survive homelessness. Our investigative reporter Erica Stanish went inside the camps experiencing a day in the life and finding out what's being done to help those in need. Erica. Yeah, well, many tell me they're actually working to get off of the streets, but they're doing it and doing what it takes to stay alive until that opportunity arises. Labeled as a dead end street in the city. Hello, is anybody in there? You'll find a row of homes, a neighborhood, a place they call home. I love Oklahoma. Many wake up and start their day at a shelter for breakfast. How are you doing, guys? Those who have jobs head to work next, while for others, the race is on. There's a lot to get done before the sun goes down. Amy Davidson has a home on West Sheridan Avenue, just down the road from the Jesus House. Here, she's working to dry it out after it rained the night before. Pulling everything out so that I can dry it all out. That way I could save what I can again. Salvaging what she can and tidying up before nightfall. I plan to go take it to the laundromat. I have a bin right there that I put all the clothes in and then I'll pull that on my bicycle to the laundromat and wash and dry what I can. Davidson says she's been living here for three years. Her home before caught on fire. Everything was destroyed. Now she's fighting to survive on the streets, creating a makeshift tent, collecting blankets, sleeping bags to stay warm. I just pull this tarp up over this and tie it all down and put blankets, you know, around or, or tarps on the inside right there to keep it warm uh -huh. and then sometimes we'll like uh, for the fire you know what I'm saying we'll have wood burning and then we'll get the hot coals and then we'll put them in another pan a smaller bucket really you know what I'm saying and then bring it in the tent that way the heat radiates into the room it's like a little can heat type deal that's like makes it you know sometimes she gets creative anything to get by but she's not alone it's a uh... You know, just one big homeless family. <laughs> and they say help is never too far away. It's good that they feed people for sure. Um, and that they give people warm clothes and sleeping bags. Hey, John, what do you want to drink? Hot food and warm clothes come every Monday night, supplied by church volunteers from Bethany. Anything else for you? Oh, All right, God bless. Thank you. It means a lot because, I mean, for one, if any volunteer church groups does not come out, everyone out here would be hungry because most of them don't have jobs, have income. Every week when you hear their stuff like there, you hear God bless you over and over and again. The hugs, they just want to come give you a hug because no one wants to give them that physical contact and they're missing that. So you have that impact. For some, they say this is the only life they've ever known. Hey, Cody, Alyssa, Debbie, love you. I don't have the ability to be structured enough out here like this to make it to a job every day on time. Others can't find work because of their criminal history. I've been in trouble, did time in prison. Three and four homeless people have been incarcerated. Only 21% work. The main cause of homelessness boils down to money, leaving many right here on a dead end street. Pretty, pretty uh, good chance that I could get a place of my own here pretty quick. Hoping for a better tomorrow. God good all the time. Now, assistance is something the city is working on giving our homeless population. Much of that through MAPS 4 with mental health, substance abuse and domestic violence services, and most importantly, affordable housing. And we'll tell you more about that coming up Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Hey, Erica, you spent quite a bit of time out there, and you mentioned this isn't the way most of them actually want to live. Right, and some people are calling it experiencing homelessness, but it isn't. It's living it, surviving day to day, hoping to eventually get shelter somewhere or housing so they can get off of the streets. And they have to survive each night, one like tonight where the temperature is dropping, hoping not to get frostbite, just to make it until morning to prepare for another day. Now, it is a tough life. But for others, it is a lifestyle that they choose. That's a topic we'll soon be bringing to you in more detail. Part of our Homeless series right here on Fox 25. Erica, thank you for showing us this.